Hi everyone, I'm Trevor Thompson, I'm Head of Teaching for Primary Care and I'm a GP here in Wellspring Surgery where I've just got to the end of quite a full-on clinical day. We are super hopeful for you coming into practice and getting lots of experience conducting consultations under close supervision and building your competence and your confidence as soon-to-be F1 doctors. Competence in medicine comes in many guises. There's practical and knowledge-based competencies that are crucial to safe, effective care and also relational competencies, the ability to work well in a team, to give and receive feedback, for instance, and to develop patients' confidence and trust in you and your ability perhaps to see the world through the eyes of the patient and their carers. And somewhere in there are competencies around self-care, looking after your own well-being and uh, securing a life outside medicine which can be all too engross, um, sort of can tend to suck you in a bit and dominate things. And as well as these, there's what we might call social competencies, the, the ability to appreciate the public health dimension or the global environmental dimension or even the historical dimension, understanding where medicines come from so as we can perhaps better understand uh, how to guide its future. <clears throat> and the well-rounded graduate of Bristol Medical School has, has competencies in all of these domains. They are good at procedures, they're knowledgeable, they're emotionally intelligent and they are socially responsible in relation to their profession. And this is where outside the box comes in. Most of us learn best from doing things and that's exactly what outside the box is. It's an excuse to do something that um, you've never done before or you've never had the time for, something that will engage you as a whole person, not just intellectually, and something that's of relevance to clinical medicine in the broadest sense. So what sorts of things are we thinking about? Well, for one, engaging in an artistic practice, a project, an arts project in relation to clinical medicine. So this could be a depiction of life with a particular condition. It could be your own experience as a medical student or what you see in the clinical encounter. Um, it, but it could also be things more, uh, more preclinical, if you like, thing, um, depictions of anatomy or, or interesting aspects of pathology. And uh, to do this project, you, you might want to develop some skills first. You might for instance, enroll in an art class. And there's loads of inspiration for this sort of project on the outofourheads.net website. Um, you can really do this in literally any medium. It could be a painting or a drawing. It could be, a, you could write a play. You could shoot a short film. You could do an, a piece of embroidery, for instance. Uh, I mean, pretty much everything's there and you can check that out on the website uh, for examples of different media. And the main competency you develop through, through an arts practice is that of empathy, which is really of fundamental importance to, to safe and effective practice. However, if you didn't really want to, to create something yourself, you could engage with a piece of work created by somebody else. I'm thinking of one of the many um, serious books and films that uh, that attack medical issues. They again can look at the situation through the eyes of a patient with a particular diagnosis or they could um, include uh, personal accounts of being a doctor or some of these fast, fantastic non-fictional works on for instance on quality improvement by Atul Gawande the one thing we ask is that this is not a film or a book that you have, you've read before. It has to be something you're taking on freshly. And if you're watching a film, why not get a few mates around, do a, sh do a showing of the film and then 
have a discussion about it. And that's the sort of thing we'd, we'd like you to report back. The third option we've come across, we've, we've stumbled on, is what we call a lifestyle challenge. And this is where over the nine weeks, you take on something that you've never done before in your life. Uh, you could, for instance, take up meditation or train for a half marathon or take up, for instance, some new diet. And uh, the, the main competencies that we're chasing here are those around self-care and resilience. But of course, when you try any of these things, you, of course, develop a knowledge which you can then share with patients. I've found this so often um, in, in my own career. And um, again, we want it to be a reasonably substantial challenge. Um, and a, a great place to start might be the, uh, the podcast by, by Dr. Michael Mosley entitled uh, Just One Thing. And in there, you'll get him talking about things like eating chocolate every day, getting up early and having a brisk walk, uh, journaling um, each day. Uh, did I mention eating chocolate each day? That sounds too easy, that one. It is dark chocolate, though. Um, and, and, and these are all things that you, you, you could do uh, and, and make notes on over nine weeks and then tell us how you got on at the end. So how, how does outside the box work in practice? Well, you've got this short bit video from me and then you can have a discussion in your group. Perhaps people have already got great ideas for what they want to do. But by week three, we would like you to have nailed the topic that you're going to pursue. And then in the ninth and final week of your um, cluster based teaching sessions, uh, you you will report back on your outside the box activity. So you'll have 15 minutes and you might, for instance, want to do a demonstration of some lifestyle practice, some breathing technique or whatever. But we're very keen for you to bring creative work to the group, share it with the group, explain it, how you created it and, and its significance and meaning. And, um, uh, and, and this, well, you know, you don't need to do a PowerPoint. And of course, this isn't designed to be onerous. Um, there's no f a formal assessment, but there are, there are some things to aim for. So your, your tutor can nominate you for, the primary, for primary care prizes, which have monetary value. Um, if it's an artwork, there's a reasonable chance that it could find its way onto, um, out of our heads. And the very best works will help you turn into posters that could be presented at the Royal College of General Practitioners uh, conference next autumn. So all of those things are nice little nuggets to to have on your CV. So I wish you lots of luck with Outside the Box um, and, you know, have fun. And uh, I look forward to seeing what you produce uh, right now. I'm going home for my tea.